Welcome everybody to the Vikings basketball on the NFSS Network, Sean Gravel versus Jeff Well. It's been a great game, great game so far for everybody. Bobby Jones along with Joseph Curry and Bill Quantry. Right to the wild thriller here on this between the ladies basketball, between the Lady Vikings and the Lady Wars, the Wars went on to win this game. 28 to 20, I mean 29 to 27. <clears throat> and now when the boys basketball with both teams. Can the Wolves get that revenge on the Vikings or can the Vikings go out that sweep? We're gonna find out here. Live in Greenmore, North Carolina. Let's get started. Broadcast this game with this game it's all about. You know, this is everybody's game <coughs> as we have yeah, the, the games. We would like to say hello to everybody here in Cremo, North Carolina, and in the Junior National. Here we go. Let's get started. Eleven Robbins with one thousand points in his career. Congratulations to him.
Okay, there's on the Vikings and the Warriors playing here. They all starting here again at 7:50. And I was sitting late, <clears throat> and we had a great, great time after the the pregame. Eleven Robins has one over one thousand points. <clears throat> that was about three days ago when. Sock level play. Vance County here. That was on Tuesday. We're on the way here. The boss tip and the Vikings win the tip. Wapas pin it for three points. <coughs> That's a rebound. The Warriors gets it back. Here comes the Warriors. Number 23 inside the left. And that's good. What has happened late here is now 2-0 the score. <coughs> game what well, a fine this is gonna be a fine game to watch. Mason Brown with a layup. He keeps fighting. He keeps fighting. Another rebound. Another rebound. Another rebound and he scores. It's time to game up. Nice, nice rebound by Brown. That's the third time he had he does that. <clears throat> That's a stay on here we go and the Vikings cannot be Oh my Brown! I mean Rock I mean Sherman! Sherman with that lamp. And the whistle is car. It looks like it's a fistle. Now number five is going to the bench. <coughs> Four two game here at Soccer Ever. As we'll be right by here. And Soccer Ever had the ball is now four to two. Look at, look at this team right now. They're just doing something right to the line. They're doing something big now. With no, no executions, that's going to go. And Roberts with a three-pointer. And that will be five, six, I mean seven to two. Sonic Cover had a lead with five points. Number 23 gets to the inside. Sometimes he gets the rebound and, and Mason Brown. Fire on Brown. Brown had two points tonight. Shiver had two points. 
Wampa's got three points for the late for the all soccer Vikings as score as number twenty three missed his shot. Makes his second shot is now was down by four. Pin it for three point. That's not gonna go. And number 23 gets it. Five is on the paint. Let it go, let it go. And it's gonna be. <clears throat> it's gonna be signed from a box. Now we have this game coming up. That's a little bit. Oh, look at this. Pin it inside the easy lap with an assist by Shimony. Here comes a three pointer. That's not going to go. Offensive rebound. Number 24 scores for his team. It's 995. And it's going to be Warriors ball. <coughs> what the Warriors had. Vikings had got way ahead. Best call of the day here for all three. And now it's a Looks like the ball goes out of bounds. But the final has called is on the Vikings, and it's Malaysian Brown. That's his second. Second final on Brown. <laughs> it's a full point game here for the Vikings. This is awesome. absolutely unbelievable now. Oh, number two with the Nissan layup. Almost got in. To try to get it to two. Cut this game to two. And Wobbles for three. And it will be she will go for the line with three shots. That's three shots for Wobbles. And it's going to be Sonic Rebel. Second three four. This time three shots for Wobbles. Sorry, it was behind him. Yep, he got five points. <coughs> I think, and I think he asked him to ask Wobble to make his first shot. This is how it was happening here. And didn't look like. Now Wobble's missed his second shot. Will be one more. Somehow he makes his start. And that's a throw, throw the ball and was throw the ball away. 11 the final score. And and it. Pow! Fourteen to five, and once again the Warriors have turned over. That's the second time they've turned the ball over. Yes, luck there, but lot the Warriors are <coughs> unlucky. They were looking there, <coughs> struggling, it, and trying to get this thing not in the hmm. This time they just did not do anything. So now the Warriors who had the had the biggest mistake here. And Roberts with the three will not go either. That's the pass to number three. three. Score now is 21 to 10. <coughs> the play here, but seconds left. Shiver it to Terry. That's not going to go, and that will be sock level. Terrible. Up yeah, by 11 here with 5 seconds to go. Vikings try to hurry. There's a 3 point by number 3. This time it backfiles. 
And that will be the end of the first quarter. Scoring this game right now, the late the uh, Sock Ramble Vikings. They're up by 21 to 10 off our score. We're going to the second quarter with a score. 21 to 10, they're watching Vikings basketball on the EFFS network. <coughs> and now starting the second half with the second quarter with a score. Vikings 21 was 10. That's still by number 10. Terry's going to take it to the hoop and slam dunk. 13 points for Sonic Cranville and it's a 23 points for Sonic Cranville and it's a 13 point game. Remember they had a, a wild hill here in the hill in the last, last month. It was on January the 5th. <coughs> so now Sonic Cranville who the way they do it now they do it real big. And now the Wars have in the possession Number five gets it down. Vikings defense are stalking and now it's a three pointer by number two. Number two with an inside for downtown. Ten point game. And Wobbles try to answer right back. That's a rebound by number three. This time it won't go. Terry with an inside rebound and here comes the Warriors. He had, a, he had a three and the layup. And she only put down time. That's good. It's back to, it's, they get up in the level with a double digits. And here comes the lady, here comes the Vikings. Shimmering with that layup. And it's now 28 to 5. Well, start here in the second quarter. And. Looks like the basket will not count. So now the fire has caught. That's the first team foul for the Vikings. Defense stalking them. Guarding them. And Now it's going to get into this one. This time, that's number 24. Number 24 with the layup, and that's still going in. 9 point, 11 point game. And the finest card this time is on the Warriors. They're first team five here in the game. So I can't say I'm here. There's nothing I can understand. I can understand this. This whole game is just going to turn, going to turn, it's going to continue on until everybody gets around. But I think Sonic Rambo is way ahead. Way ahead, and they got a double digit. Roberts has to pin it. Pin it for two. 30 to 13 point game here, but 550 remaining. That's a three point. Wide open for downtown, and that's not going to go. Offensive rebound by number two. And, uh, <laughs> that's the inside. Look at the steals, a turnover by, by the Wars. Number two with a steal, and there's a double team up ahead. Tip ball. Mm -hmm. so things you just got to do everything they can. Everything they can to chance to win. That's what he says. Terry with a lap. I in front with a lap. And it's now 32 to 19. And it's like number 5 with a lap. And Roberts with a 3 pointer. 
That is a nice shot by Wallace. It is against the Warriors. Soccer basketball is this Viking basketball is boxing by Bojangles. It's full time. Roberts who had a nice three here. A nice three. He had a dashing points anyway in his career. That's a steal. This time to number one. He's going to the paint. That's not going to go. Going inside the wind. That's not going to help. Roberts again. Foul. Back to back threes by Roberts. It is a 38 to 21 game. Looks like they are still, looks like the Wolves are messing up. They are playing around. Nice pass to Henderson. A block by number two. Vikings are trying to get right back. Wow, looks like the fans of soccer are really having a great time tonight. And it's 38 to 21 to score. And still, by number, by 20, 20 with the can, Cherry. Looking for the eye heat. They still got the ball. Roberts with a turn, and now look at this. Roberts with a left, and he goes in. 40 to 21 to score, and the flank is up back. That's a lad, that's good, so that's a, <clears throat> that's anyway, that's everybody's game right now. It's just a, a little bit of a mind, you know, to make, to make sure, and Terry, he will lay up, that's not going to go in, but Terry will go to the line with two shots here on the second quarter, for all the, under 33 minutes remaining. And Wobbers did a great job. Terry, I mean, it was an easy layup, and Terry did a great job of getting inside in the, in the paint as he missed his first shot. What a team it has been for Son Grandma. Doing the best job here. Hope, and maybe they'll do a better job here in the state playoffs. Forty one to twenty three all score. Yes, forty two to twenty three. Almost a triple digit. A 19 point game for South Travel. And this time he missed pushing in, and now it's a 17 point game. Pin it for three. That's not going to go. Looks like they had a game up and going. 
Looks like he got the layup. And that goes in. It's a 15 point game. They cut to 15 with 2 or 5 remaining. Everything's going right for them. There's a rebound by Webb. As we said this before, this is a good game here between these two teams. And number five gets it down. That's a pass. Defense doing a good job. As number one goes in, no charge and foul. And number one will head to the line with two shots with a minute 27 minutes to go now. Now, this is now not in the both teams are not in the bonus. <clears throat> and number one missed his shot. It's his second shot. 42 to 27 on score. That's all. And number three, looks like number three is. With that layup. And he'll go to the line for two. It's his first shot. This Tuesday, Sanko will be on the wall again to face Dawn Square Arts, and then next Friday, they're going to Sutton Dawn to get their redemption. 43 to 27. Ah, right, look at this 23. What a layout. 21 dropping. This is the girl from the inside and the inside the paint. Roberts! And a foul. Roberts will go to the line for two shots for over a minute and a minute. Under the minute and a minute. What's what is happening now for the hmm 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 now the war now the fighters are doing it. <coughs> I'm just off. How that can be consulted. Just absolutely unbelievable. Olivia Roberts is actually an unbeliever. She, he had an unbelievable shot. So that's how it's got to be when it's going on. He makes his second shot and it's now 45 to 29. Good, good shot opportunity, and that is a steal. Nice C and two the shot. That's not gonna go. And we'll be Wolves Bar. The score is now is up to as Langan skins up by 16. And a step out of bounds. Boy, gotta lose a head. Gotta lose the head. That's. And. Three pointer. Pin it with a three. Put the Vikings up by 19 points. That's the last shot. They might pay the last shot. And that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. And that will be in the first half of the game. Half time coming up. Vikings up by 19 points. 48 to 29. Dole Coy in action. Soccer up. By 19 as we get ready to start the door quarter. And we know the you gotta feel good about 
I just got to figure out about Sonic Rebel. They play their hearts out and they have their big two pools to go. Fifty-one to twenty-nine. <clears throat> the score right now in this game right now I see <clears throat> the league just seen them bigger and similar had to steal. And two That's a tackle of five. It looks like it's on number. Looks like it's number five. <clears throat> twenty-three. Wappers is going to the line for two shots. Time has taken by Sock River. It's likely with number 23 or number 5. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, anyway. I know Tackle of Fire has just left. We're going to continue and that's like a turn. Now Terry will go for the line. There's no Tackle of Fire on board. Looks like they have a great game here. It's 53 to 29, the score. Lee on South Gravel, our biggest lead here. And now uh, Travis Carr is on the walls. South Gravel had that. <coughs> well, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. This has been a long, long night. This is going to be a long night for Webb. Hit it for three. Too strong not to whack, and that goes the Warriors here. The Warriors have everything that's going to go into it. Everything that's going their way. Yes, a three pointer. That's not going to go. Another three pointer. That's not going to go either. And... Vikings have it. And this time he's turning away. Looks like they were... <laughs> oh, for that kind of action. <laughs> You know, I didn't have to think of going after this game for for sure. If we if we watch this game right now, <coughs> with the Vikings blowing the Red Wars, I mean, it's going to be the blowout written all over it. And I can assure that. <laughs> Absolutely, it was. <laughs> it was funny to me how this is when I saw this game. That was about last season. Last season, it was a blowout. It was on January. It was a blowout by the on the wars. It became a blowout, and then we saw the push the player, the rare player who pushed that guy out of the way, and he got a tackle or and another double tackle. I remember last year, his mom, his that's the, that's a player for the wars. His mom came in here to copy him, and then. The, war, the Warriors players have had to hold him back, and his mom was in here, and the police officer had to escort her out, out of the court. That's what happened. That's South Grandma's home. Now this is South Grandma's home court. Looking to that fourth win straight. 
And honey. Gets in the end. We got the wall player in shut down. <coughs> it looks like he saw it. The medical staff is going to take is taking a look here for the number 24. We'll be right back in just a moment. Number 24 is coming out of the court and he's heading, and he's going to have to see when the medical staff here to check on him. It's 53 to 29 to score. And a layup by number three. Number three with that layup is now 55 to 29. A three pointer. That's a three pointer. That's not going to go, but that's a rebound. Another three pointer. That's not going to go. Oh! And a fast car. Looks like the fire's on Sonic Gravel. Are you guys enjoying this game as much as we did? Tony is has been foul. <coughs> and that's a turnaround shot. And that's not gonna go. And number three. Tell you what, <laughs> it's a fun game for soccer. But I can tell you, this is how this game is all about. That is all going to be a little bit. And a steal by number five. He's going to take it down and he scores. That's an easy layup. Look at the contents. The foul is on. The Warriors. Number five is all going to left. And you can't believe it. Well, got to continue the pass and pass for Caster Bryant. After he had that layup, he scored for his team. Warriors got 31. So, number five, Jeff Brown will have a seat. Three pointer. Bam! It's 58 to 33. And this has a blowout written all over the guys. Yeah, that's for sure. You just got to know how this game is just a little bit continuing for this person as a three pointer for Webb. There you go. There you go. And if you had that lamp. Nightmare continues for the Warriors. This time, the dunk. Jim City. It's Jim City, guys. That's proof right there. I gotta tell you what. This guy is going to be super cool here when this game is over. And this time, 30 points by the Vikings. It's a 30 point game. I think they're going to have to head home. Looks like the frustrated Warriors fans. JF Red fans are not happy, but they were down. 
It costs ton of us and then all of a sudden, oh my goodness. How do you have to cost some ton of us? I mean, look. I mean, this Wallace team is just playing off. They have an ice cold hill in this corner. Ice cold hill in this game. And they are ice cold in this entire game. They had two losses. They, they had two wins this season. 16 losses. That's the worst record I ever seen in my life. That is not looking good for the Wolves here this season. They are looking 2 and 17 this season. And Roberts is going to go to the paint. Terry with a rebound, but I tell you what, this is a whole, whole soccer level basketball game. Sucker is looking for a whole game right now, it's just a little bit. But you don't ever want to see that happen. Right now, it's just a 435. This game right now is not even close. And Mason Brown with that layup. Mason Brown with that layup. Take this layup. Oh, look at this. A stoop turnaround shot. That's not going to be it. Roberts. Wide open luck. It's not going to go either. And. I is flying all over the place. And here comes Terry! BAM! Actually, a little bit a slant dunk here. I don't care if you're playing crazy in defense or crazy in offense with that. We inside to go in the paint with that dunk like that. Wampus with the layup. And they're embarrassing Jeff Red right now. Up by 2023. This is embarrassing. Very embarrassing. And South Carolina calls a time. I mean, the Wolves are calling a timeout, and Coach is not happy. The game is 72 to 37 with 101 remaining. The score right now is 72 to 37. Vikings lead this game. And what has been an unbelievable one side affair. Vikings was has gone to the sweep on the Warriors. We're all in the middle of remaining here. I gotta say this game is just continuing. This is great. The team of South Gravel team is off the shots. This game right now is a little bit continuous in the past. You can just see right now for another win and another street for South Gravel. That fourth straight win and this South Gravel basketball team will be another day in the office. Best takes it and he scores. He'll go for the line with one point. With 25 seconds here on the door, I think it's not over yet. And this is definitely not over yet. This JF Real team has been embarrassed, extremely embarrassed by this soccer level team. Being embarrassed by an opponent. Lee's getting in with Valleys. 
the setting in 5 to 39. The biggest thing here in the game is Hansel laying off the shots. That's for sure. That's why I gotta say. You say it's, an, it's another day in the office? Well, you're right. And, uh, Setting the fire to 41. Last shot for a tiny. And that's it. There's a home. Three quarters down. Four core coming up right after this. We're here in Creamore. The score here. Setting the fire to 41. Our score. This game has been a lot of. It's all soft gravel again. And it has been looking quite in all these points that we've seen. And I think what we talked about right now is just like what? Absolutely unbelievable in this game here. Yeah. That's a three pointer. It's not good at all. Double team. Double team. And number five just answering. This time he got it and got it. It was a double team by number five trying to take it away and got it anyway. Thank you, Hannah. Nice looking detail. It's oh look at this. This for the three pointer. Now don't forget this Tuesday, Soccer will, will be on the wall on the wall again. This time they're going back on the wall to face Dawn School of the Arts. And then next Friday they'll face Sutton Dawn. That will be next Friday on the EF Baptist Network. Hopefully we'll see what went down. What will go down. And still by number uh, Henderson and Flock Thomas, who was going to the lamp. And number three is going to turn and now it's a number two with the lamp. Well, I'm trying to get if we well, go home. Well, not the best if we're not trying but anyway. But Sankar, I mean, the Warriors are looking at trying to get this, keep this team together. But <clears throat> actually, I think maybe next year they'll do a bell. They'll play bell when they face Sonic Gravel next year. Hopefully. That's the rebound by number 30. For that, almost had a layup. Thomas in the paint. Passes to number two. Bets for three. Got it. The Wars have been taking a beating real bad, and it's now 81 to 43. 
They're going to do it more on Thomas for three. Got it. That's back to back threes for South River Vikings. 84 to 43. It's another three here. Number one. To be on out, we're not get. It's 84 to 43. Thomas again. We'll do it again. This time he won't fall. There's another three by number 21. That's not going to go. And there's the breakaway. And the fire is called Sock Ramble. NASCAR is back as they reach to the LA Casino. Starting at 8 o'clock right here on Fox. As they let the clock tick, they let the clock run. Well, that's not going to go. That's 21 with that rebound. What? Let the clock tick. Let the clock tick. You, soccer, you had this game one. If you soccer, you just won. You just had the big lead here. As Mason Brown, who had an easy layup here inside the paint into the rack. Thanks to the lack of guns, I believe this is, I mean, this is, this is a, this is a comfortable, uh, extremely comfortable, and they just relax that game right now. Fire is calling number 15. It looks like number 3 might be hot. Seems to be okay. We saw a you lady, you had a couple, you got to enjoy a little sales, you got to enjoy a little aggressive return. And for the Warriors, we, they didn't realize for the Warriors that playing this game like this, when you are losing, they didn't realize that it could be downright with us. I mean, he had a, I mean, that's an that's a, an easy one. That's just, what is it? This time it just uh Well you just like this it's just everybody's gonna kind of dance around here. And number ten. What's three? That's not gonna go. This team is had the best time. They're playing hard tonight. Sock River, this is where basketball is playing hard tonight. It's not too easy to concern with some hearts, and that's when you look around. So now we'll take a seat, just like he always got uh, his elbow or something. 2.18, that starts the clock. Well, you want what to say thank you for all the people watching on at home live stream. I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Enjoying this game. We did enjoy the the ladies basketball game, the girls basketball game when the Lady Vikings lost to the War Lady Warriors 29 to 27 and now we had the, the boys basketball when the Vikings in control on home court. Leading big 86 to 43. Up by 40 points. 
I mean, they're up by four. Soccer was up by now. They were up by forty points. So it's cut to forty-two. Our lead. We're going to head home. I think so. You don't say, Joe. I mean, team just a good idea of getting the team out. For sure, at some point. <laughs> now, so. Actually, looking going out to it. And kind of an easy look. And. Come on, I mean, ha! <laughs> you know, everything is going to happen contingency. How do you know about that, Joseph? Because I'm just special. It's just like this and that. Everything that goes out in the That's when it goes away. And that's going to be the end of it. Three, two, one. That's it. Our final score in this game the Vikings win 86 to 45. It was a great, unbelievable win for sure for South Granville and a big win here by 41 points, and it was a great. Given that standing ovation by this South Granville crowd. Well, this is how we do at South Granville. Here in the engineers, my hometown, my one of the best games I've ever I've seen. And here they are, they are winners. Had their fourth strength win. Four in the world, baby. You're right, y'all. Say that's a good thing. Continuing a good time for well, that's a great time for South Granville basketball team to put in this town basketball team, put this entire game on the Bucks. For Joseph Kerr and Billy Country, this is Bobby Jones. We'll see you next time when we play ball.